Princess Polly, what are you doing today? Hi, Miss Terry. I am hanging out with my friend, the king of the jungle, the lion. He's a wild animal. Oh, well, what a coincidence. That's the theme of our week three story time to go pack. Imagine your story if you were a wild animal. <gasps> Roar! That's right. And I was thinking that maybe we could do an art project from the Storytime to Go Pack today. Would you like to help me? I would love to. All right. Well, this is what we're going to be making. <gasps> does it look familiar? It does. That's his mane. That is his mane. It's very big, isn't it? He has a beautiful mane. Lots of hair like me. That's right. So it's a e relatively easy project. What you're going to need from your story time to go pack is your orange and your yellow paint, the brown lion shaped head, and then your white piece of construction paper. And then you're also going to need some scissors, a marker, and uh, you can use a plastic spoon if you'd like, or you can just drizzle your paint. It's up to you. And I've also put some paper, um, newspaper down just so that we don't make a mess on the library's bookshelves. <laughs> so. First off, we're going to fold our white construction paper in half, and then we're gonna open it back up, just like that. And then we're gonna use our spoon to drizzle some of the paint on the paper. And we're gonna kinda of do it towards the middle fold. So you can use those spatial concepts of middle and the edge. We wanna keep it in the middle. Yeah. And I'm just gonna mix the colors a little bit. You can go all over. You really can't mess this up. It's a wonderful practice, yes. art project. And then we're gonna fold the paper back in half and we're gonna smooth it out with our fingers away from the fold. You can feel the paint moving in there. Miss Terry, you can even take one finger and move the paint. That's right, princess. One finger to bring Thank it you out. For helping. I'm just gonna go right up and down the middle too with my one finger. All right, should we open it up and see what it looks like? I can't wait. Wow. wow! I sure would like hair like that. And then while it's still wet, you can use your marker to draw a face on your lion's head, cut it out, and then you can place it right down in the middle while it's still wet. And it should stick pretty well. It will. This is another waiting project because you need to wait for it to dry before you can play with it. Waiting is hard. It is hard. But another idea. Can we, can we read when we wait? You can absolutely read while you wait. That's a great idea, Princess Polly. If you want to go a little bit extra, you can also cut out around your mane, put it on a stick puppet, on a stick and make a puppet. Yes. And we can roar, roar. together. That's right. Well, we hope you enjoy this project. One little, two little, three little monkeys, four little, five little, six little monkeys, seven little, eight little, nine little monkeys, ten little monkeys swinging on a vine. What do you think, Miss Tammy? Do you think our Storytime friends will like these monkeys? Oh, I'm sure they will. We have lots of monkey songs in your packet this week. Good. let's show them what we did on the back. We have singing and we have counting for math. Yeah, so your monkeys are gonna come on a sheet like this. The holes are already poked for you. You just need to cut them out. And we didn't cut too close to the line. Feel free to leave some white around the edges. And then Miss Tammy used a Sharpie to write the numbers on the back. You can do that at home. Yeah, and you can have your child put them in order. They can go in order from one to 10 or back from 10 to one. Or you can just point out the numbers while you're counting. Let's flip them back around. There, you can see that we've left lots of white space around the monkey. I'm gonna take two of these off so that we can show them a different song. Okay. And as Terry gets the monkeys to put in her tree, we're only going to demonstrate with two monkeys. You can do this as, with as many as you want. It's up to five. And I just put a little hand. bit of tape on the back so that they're ready to go. And in your packet, we've included an alligator puppet to go with this finger play. And we are going to demonstrate. Puppets are wonderful attention getters for your children, and especially for working with you while you're playing and singing along. So you can vary your voice. It doesn't matter how you do it, but we're gonna start with the two monkeys sitting in the tree. Two little monkeys sitting in a tree. 
Along came the alligator, hungry as can be. Ha ha, ha said, said the, the monkeys, monkeys, you can't catch me. Oh no, said the alligator, one, two, three. So one goes away. One little monkey sitting in the tree. Along came the alligator, hungry as can be. Ha ha, said, said the, the monkeys, monkeys, you can't catch me. Oh no, said the alligator, one, two, three. And then he goes away hungry. No little monkey sitting in the tree. Away went the alligator, full as can be. So we hope you enjoy all the monkey songs in your week three story time to go pack. Play and sing together. It's okay, Princess Polly. Miss Terry, hi! Hi, Princess Polly, what's the matter? I'm upset. It's gonna rain today. How can we play? And maybe two days. Two days? Well, no worries, Princess Polly, because in our week three story time to go back, we have a whole bunch of tabletop games that are perfect for a rainy day. Oh, so we still can play? Absolutely. Oh, good. I feel better. Great. I'm going to show the Storytime kids what they're going to need in order to get their their tabletop games ready to go. Uh, okay, I'll see you later. I'll see you later, Princess Polly. So in order to do your tabletop games, you're going to want to take out the page protector that's paper clipped with a whole bunch of papers. And you're actually going to save this paper clips for later because you'll use it to put together your safari crown. Safari crown. So hold on to that one. But it has your page protector. You're going to want the two cubes. You're going to need your manipulatives page, scissors, a glue stick or some tape, the dry erase marker, the colorful stickers, and then you're also going to want the directions page which tells you how to do all of these games. Now we're using a page protector because this allows you to do these activities over and over again without damaging the original. We're going to try the wild animal race which looks like this and we're going to put it inside the page protector so that it is ready to go. I'm just going to put these to the side. And then you're going to need to get your dice ready. On the bottom of the manipulatives page there are some strips of wild animals. You want to cut those out and you're actually going to cut them out into the tiny little pieces. Take one of your blank cubes and glue or tape them onto the side. We've already done one so this is what it looks like when it's completed. So that is for the grown-ups. For the grown-ups. Now let's let's play. Okay. So I'm gonna roll the dice. Miss Tammy's gonna get the marker ready. Oh I got a giraffe. Uh, so you can show them the giraffe. Find the giraffe on the game sheet and then have them just do a circle or some kind of a mark on the animal that came at the top when you roll. And then you're just going to keep rolling. Oh, that time I got the hippo. hippo. And then we'll mark off the hippo. So if they're young, they're learning the animals. So you can mark the hippo. And you just keep playing until one row of animals is completely covered and that is the animal that wins the race. Now you can use the eraser on the end of your dryer waste marker to clean off your sheet or you can also use a damp cloth. And it's good as new. And they get better each time you play. Each time you play. Another activity is the roll and write game. So we're gonna slip this into our page protector. And this one uses a different cube and the colorful stickers. So you're gonna take the stickers and you're gonna place one on each side of the cube. And then you can take a marker. You can use the dry erase or you can use a Sharpie and write letters on the dots. We suggest using the, your, the letters in your child's name first. Or even the upper and lowercase letters. An uppercase A and then a lowercase A. Roll it and whatever comes to the top, they can put in the top cube or the top square on the grid. And you can keep playing until the whole grid is full. So those are just some of the tabletop games that are available in this week's pack. Enjoy! Have fun in the rainy days! Hi everyone, it's Miss Terry. And Miss Tammy. And we'd like to demonstrate the Play-Doh activity that's in your week three story time to go pack. 
In order to do this activity, you're going to want your page protector with the giraffe sheet inside. You'll need your manipulatives page that has the numbers 0 through 10, which you're going to want to cut out. And then you'll also need your little bag of Play-Doh. Shall we play? We Let's play. Let's play. So the Play-Doh mat is protected by that page protector, so you can use that over and over. And the best thing for young children to develop those little fingers, muscles that are getting ready to write when they get into school is play with Play-Doh. So this is just a giraffe and a tree, and the giraffe eats these out of the tree. So on the one side, there is not a number at all. This is best for toddlers. If, you're, if they're just learning about Play-Doh, they can just pinch. They don't have to use lots of muscles, but just pinch. And they can put as many leaves in that tree as they would like. And then you can also show them how many leaves did you put in the tree. And they can take the rest and Think gather up. them up. Yeah. So then, if you'd like to challenge your, your older preschoolers or any of your other children, that's where the numbers come in so, on the opposite side. So right now there's a one on there. So how, can you put one leaf in the tree? And then if, if you, you want to put challenge. a different number, slide it in to cover up the other number. And now there's a four. Can you four. put four leaves on the tree? One, two, three, four. So mm -hmm. have fun. Have fun. Just so, have fun a wonderful medium to play, with. to play with. And if you're interested in learning about the benefits of using Play-Doh with your child, we have included those tips on your Storytime to Go Pack sheet, as well as the recipe for how to make your own Play-Doh. It's a math and science activity. Do it with your child. Enjoy. Storytime to Go Packs are available beginning Monday, June 15th. There'll be a new pack each week. Follow our curbside delivery procedures, which can be found on our website at www.lesterlibrary.org. And grown-ups, don't forget your library card. We can't wait to see you.